Hello everyone, breaking headline parody story entertainment show. There's an earthquake that's making my show today. It's in Virginia and uh, it was earthquake. It re was recorded to be a 5.8 magnitude earthquake. It's uh, supposed to be the second largest earthquake that's recorded in history of hitting the Virginia area. Let me break away for a second. It's a real entertaining story. I, I want to tell you my disclaimer before I continue and it goes like this. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody report entertainment show is a parody. That means don't take anything I say seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say and I've been voted by an independent survey company as the greatest entertainer in the world. So that should tell you you're going to hear a great show I want to tell you just a, who I am before I continue the show. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin, he don't get no respect and you know I'm the surviving Dangerfield now. Seem like everywhere I go I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My wife turned gay on me. And one day my wife and I was fixing to make love and she was on the bed naked and her legs was like in a figure four position. She was just staring like a deep stare. I go, honey, what's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, hell with it. Neither can I. Let's just forget it. So we didn't even make love that, that day. But a lot of people are saying, why would your wife leave you for a black dude? I go, well, I, I guess she wanted to get back with her own color. But anyways, uh, this, this, uh, this earthquake, it's a, it's a terrible thing, and I, I know this is a serious thing. And some people may object to my disclaimer and may start hating me for it. Uh, uh, you know, you people in America, y'all are haters. Uh, it doesn't matter how good somebody is, you still hate them, how great they are. Uh, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, y'all hated him and shot him and killed him. His brother, Robert Kennedy, you hated him, shot him and killed him. Dr. Martin Luther King, loved all around the world, you shot him and killed him. Uh, John Lennon, one of the greatest singers of the 20th century, you hated him and shot him and killed him, so I know there's a lot of haters in the world, and uh, you know, it's very important, I believe, that I give my disclaimer so I can continue putting on my shows, I mean, I, you know, if I didn't have to put on, give you my disclaimer, I wouldn't do it because, you know, I, I think I could figure out something else to do with my time rather than giving out my disclaimer. But this earthquake hit around 1.51 p.m. And in Virginia, and it was first reported to be a 5.8 magnitude, magnitude, then they said, no, it's bigger than that, and they went to 5.9 magnitude. And then they said, no, no, it's, it's a 5.8 magnitude. So it was a 5.8 magnitude, and this earthquake is a terrible thing. It did some damage. It knocked over some chimneys. Some buildings were shaking. Folks were scared. They was running for their lives. And, um, you know, this is a terrible thing, and there's not much that mankind can do against an earthquake in this day and age and time. Of course, in the future, I think they will be able to control 
a lot of things with aluminum foil in the sky that in, a, in 200 years from now the gravitational pull of the earth just goes up 200 miles and they'll end up putting some aluminum foil like 25,000 miles up and when they can control the temperature of the earth and they can control hurricanes, tornadoes and stuff with aluminum foil they'll, they'll keep you 72 degrees in daylight year round in Florida they'll heat up the orchards down there to keep them uh, you know, 72, 75, 80, 85 degrees year round, they'll be able to grow like probably three times the crops they grow down there now when they get that aluminum foil in the sky. So it's going to be a different era in 200 years from now. Everything's going to be completely different. I want to tell you, I'm going to get back to this story. I think it's a real entertaining story, but I want to. I want to uh, tell you who I am. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. And my wife, you know, she left me for a black dude. And people will say to me, why would your wife leave you for a black dude? Well, I guess she want to get back with her own color. But I, I started having a lot of problems out of her. I didn't really realize a black man's game or black people's game when I married her, but she was always trying to bully me. She was a bully. She didn't want me to say, you're president. Y'all, us, them, dude, homie, homeboy, sweetie, honey, dear, baby. She would always say, you disrespecting, you disrespecting. What the fuck are you talking about? You disrespecting. She said, oh, yeah, you disrespect and you racist, you prejudice. And I said, I said, I'm disrespecting for saying, sweetie, honey, dear, baby. Yeah, you disrespecting. But uh, I, I started having all kind of problems with her. And she will call her bush and buddies, you know, the racial slur that black people call each other. I'm going to use the word nickel. She'll go, my nickel, my nickel, my fool, what's up, fool, what's up, crazy, what's up, idiot, what's up, punk, bitch, nappy-headed, fool, ugly, crazy. Man, if you white people call a black person a fool, they'll stab you to death, they'll kill you. They don't want you to say, you people, y'all, us, them, we, your President Barack Obama, he said, yes, we can they don't want white people to say we. There's probably 300 words. They don't want you to say what kind of chicken you like. You like the leg or the thigh or the breast. They say, oh, you disrespecting, you disrespecting, you dis. Anyways, I couldn't put up with her nickel shit anymore, so I got a divorce from her. I went on the internet to free porn, phonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a girl. She'll say, Hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She say, over the phone, I'll give you permission to do anything you want to do to me. I'll let you go in the front door, back door, side door. I don't care. I love it all. I don't have a gag reflex, so you can hold my head down as tight as you want to. And I got, I have to admit, it got my dingling excited, so I went to a live service she said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone then I needed to generate some money and my brother gave me a 55 Chevy back in uh, 19 well he, he had bought a 55 Chevy in 55 for 1850 dollars he drove her about 15 or so years then he gave it to me I drove it for 10 years and then it had been sitting up on the family farm for over 20 years and I put it on free buy sell trade anything dot com. I sold it. Once you put it on there one time, it'll keep reposting until you sell it. It's free. And then I, they got a personal section. I put an ad on there. I was looking for a young girl to go to church and pray with me. A young girl contacted me. She's 21 years old. We, she, I've got her pregnant. She wants to have my baby. Everything's going real good. Everything's perfect. And if anybody has any criticisms or comments about my show, I appreciate it if you're typing underneath my show. That's my show. God bless you.